Oh, yeah, we're recording! Go on, yeah, Justin! Go on, Lauren! Go to Lauren! Go to Nell! Go to Luke! Okay, go to Daniel! Go to James! Go to <laughs> Welcome to DME Silver! <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me one thing about yourself! I like Daniel. <laughs> Who are you? Um, L. And tell me one thing about yourself. Um, we I, have a time limit, I, so please hurry up. I got demoted on the camera. <laughs> Who are you? Daniel. Tell me something interesting about you. I have less energy than you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm Lauren. Tell me something about yourself. Going on my tour Wow. I'm Jocelyn. This is my camera. Hello. Camera. <laughs> Who are I'm you? Ginger. <laughs> Who are you? Hello. Tell me something about yourself. Um. Yes. This is Ruth and she is bossy. <laughs> okay, morning, we are off. Hello, this is a tree that I like the look of because I like it and it kind of reminds me of a willow. Um, so yeah, and this over here is the first horse we see. I, ca I do not know how to zoom in on this camera. So you are just going to have to look at that brown blob from afar. Okay, thank you. Say goodbye, tree. Goodbye, tree. So, Ruth, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm very stressed. Who's going to have a nap? Yeah. Skittles in there too. The face of Ruth. Dan knew where we were going. Uh, Myself and James especially did not trust him. How do you tell the difference between Skittles and M&M's? <laughs> you them. Yeah, but I just ate all three of those and it's really weird because it's a combination of M&M's and Skittles. So basically, we didn't get lost. We thought we were at Monty's house. I thought we were. And then I made that very clear. I told you that. Um, but yeah, we're here now. I'm here screaming. We're not here. We're breaking for five seconds. <laughs> we're everywhere in here. <laughs> Okay, everyone wave at the camera quickly. Lunch break! <laughs> Sushi! <laughs> Hello, we have found some... Oh my god, can you even see that? Uh, we have found a tree with a face that looks like those Animal Crossing Golems. Do you know, do you know what those are?
in the wrong place. It's not our fault. It's not our fault though. So we're now waiting for the minibus to pick us up and we're recording this because we know that's what we're supposed to do apparently. So this is the people and a First day tent to set up um, and we're doing food, curry, vegetable curry because some of us don't like meat, some of us being me and Elf. To be honest this curry is very good. <laughs> wow this is turning into an advert now. Sponsor us. How do you feel after this development? The GoPro just turned off by itself. Oh. oh. Wait, who's saying what line? There once was a girl called Ruth. Her hair was one big poop. She um, couldn't stop singing. Our ears were ringing, and that is the wholehearted truth. <laughs> go and go, just <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> 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 Second day lunch, noodles are amazing. Smile. Yay! Hello. Hi. We, we have a shortened route now. Yay! Um, and we're at checkpoint two. Yeah. Uh. Oh, we're filling up our water bottles and I am sunburnt very still. Sunburnt. Not very, it's just on uh, the back of my arms. Just like. I don't like sun. Sun is boring. We are currently walking through a bunch of cows. Celebrate passing the cows, do your best cow impression. <laughs> Go on. L, best cow impression. <laughs> best cow impression. <laughs> James, be a cow. Fine, what is it? Lauren, be a cow. Productive. Anyone else? <laughs> Cute bridge. Yay. Cute swampy bit as well. Um, dinner, day two, pasta. Um, Ruth is eating hers and I gave her majority of the sauce because I do not know how to control portion sizes. James is just eating white of <laughs> <laughs> plain, plain pasta. 
Lauren is depressed because she has not got any pasta. Um, L is L is L. <laughs> Daniel is controlling the gas for no reason. <laughs> It is the second day, night time, and should it be a vlog? Should it be enough vlog? That's another group. Don't mind me. We're playing with the tennis ball, and Jocelyn, Daniel, and James are doing the wondering. And there goes the ball. Morning two, porridge again. <laughs> Morning two, James in his natural habitat, sleeping. Lauren, give us a wave. Smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. We're doing gushing up. I don't know who's speaking. <laughs> this is uh, no, my no, bowl. We're not showing them the dirty bowl. No, it's stains. It's my bowl. So it's stains. Uh, we finished working up. It is quarter past eight. And we are going to have an early start. It doesn't stay. This is the problem bowl. There are ponies everywhere. We got eaten. I'm showing that there are ponies everywhere. There are no ponies. Um, there were some by the tent this morning. Ooh, nay. Because it will be funny if one of us falls in. Ooh, go do. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ah! I'm stuck! I can't get out! Oh my god! Ah! No, I can't! She's stuck. Um, take the GoPro. Oh Rest of your attempts. James! Jeez. Not so muddy leg anymore, yay! I touched a horsey! Okay, 
Okay, so we're definitely in a new place. Um, we're gonna go round, and everyone. Now we can multitask. Everyone is. Imagine the microphones are working. This is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> okay, everyone's gonna go and say the one essential item for DV, considering that I'm now walking behind Luke. Go. Daniel? Cutlery, he said. Um, let's wait till we're over the bog. Lauren? Glasses. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Justin? Um, a will to live. You mean the by the end? So to start with one, have a spare one. <laughs> and spare hip replacements for members of your group to talk about no one in particular. <laughs> Need new hips, <laughs> Luke. My one suggestion for DOV would be to keep applying sun cream because you don't want to be covered in burns during your expedition. I'd say the most essential things to bring is the three S's. So sun hat, sun cream and sunglasses. Because these are all things that will stop you from getting sunburn. I mean, not so much sunglasses, but like they're really useful because if you're walking into the sun, you can't read a map properly. Proper properly and um you know it's just kind of irritating to have the sun in your eyes the whole time and yeah it's just very useful and i'm a ginger so like of course i need those things duh best thing i brought on dv was definitely my walking poles they were really helpful to keep up with the team and get up hills hey i'm ruth um i would say that the most ideal thing to bring on dv would be enough food but the right amount of food because you don't want to be carrying too much and you don't want to be carrying too little um so find your balance especially on the practice and then you can just replicate that and get what you really really need for the actual thing i would recommend bringing a good quality first aid kit just in case anything were to go wrong i think the most important thing to bring on dov is a lot of snacks because you're going to get very hungry over three days of walking my one suggestion would be to bring plenty of snacks. Something to take. I took pyjamas, and but you don't need them. It's a luxury, which I had space in my bag. Um, but I'd say along those lines is that you need a warm sleeping bag because the worst feeling is waking up in the middle of the night freezing cold. To someone wanting to do silver DOV, I would recommend that they make it as enjoyable as possible come up with some games or keep a quote book of all the, fun all the funny things people say. For me, I'd say the best thing to bring would be either a rain jacket or a fleece as you never really know what the weather's going to do. My favourite part of DOV was getting to spend time with my friends and navigating across really cool terrain. My least favourite part was probably the weather, it was a bit warm for us so not the most ideal to carry rucksacks. My favourite part of DOV would um, just be spending time with people and finding out weird and random facts that you never thought you would know. Um, you definitely get to know each other quite well, quite quickly. Um, and just spending time with your friends, just walking around for us, it was a new forest. Um, my least favourite part, um, probably just like we never had any arguments, but if there was like a slight like misunderstanding of where you were going, um, that wasn't fun, but that basically never happened in the one time that it did happen. We figured it out very very quickly so it was fine um yeah and i didn't like waking up to horses
that was forced of being right outside of our tent. That wasn't the most fun. Best part of DAV was, I'd say getting to the end, but that's, yeah. Um, I think just being around the campsite together and like when we had free time, not free time, free time, but when we playing cards, eating together and just kind of being together as a group. My favourite part of DAV was probably um, the quote book because uh, that was like very fun. Uh, basically we wrote all of the, the, the funny things that made us laugh down. Um, and 90% of them were the stupid things I said from being sleep deprived. And I just feel like this was a very good addition to like DAV because it meant that we could reminisce by the end of it and like for years to come um and like we get to look back on all the stupid things that happened in dv <laughs> my favorite part of dv would be sitting at the campsites and having a laugh my least favorite part of dv is probably the heat in the tents overnight my least favorite part of dv was how hot it was during our expedition so my favorite part of dv was getting to the end so we could cool down. The last part of DV for me was the blisters and the ticks. Ticks and blisters. I'd say the worst part of DV was probably when I got stuck because that was stressful. My favourite part of DV would have to be the navigation. And I'd have to say my least favourite part would be waking up early in the morning. <laughs>